Good evening, this is Donna with Gifted Energies and I'm here tonight to report on an Akashic Records reading that I've done. This reading was performed for Justine and Juliet. They've together asked me to try to connect to a life that they feel that they've lived together in the past. Some of you who may be viewing this video may be asking what are the Akashic Records? Well, you can think of it as a database um, that holds all the information of a soul's journey. Every thought, every deed, every act, and even future possibilities. We learn about this um, through Reiki and many other practices, many other cultures believe in reincarnation and past lives. Past life regression has been a passion of mine for many years and I've spent many many years practicing this myself. Um, the records are held in a what I, I call a universal consciousness. It's accessible from anywhere at any time by anyone. Um, we can use, we can tap into these records and our past lives to heal ourselves, um, to access our past just for curiosity's sake, um, and even heal others. As I mentioned, the records are available from anywhere at any time. It, it would be too much to try to access all of our lives at once. Um, to, many of us are able to pick up on bits and pieces, but to Grasp that in a whole would be overwhelming. Sorry about that. My battery actually went dead on the camera. I should have checked that first. Um, anyways, I was saying that to access one's past life in a whole session could become overwhelming and overbearing. Um, it's, sometimes it's really hard to decipher the information that comes through. Um, it, it's not always a good thing to try to work through everything at once. And many times people ask others, like myself, who are experienced in doing so, to do Akashic Record readings for them. But I just want to put it out there that anyone can access this information. It is open to you and readily available for you. Um, to connect to, and I do teach a class on past life regression and connecting with the Akashic Records. So Justine and Juliet, getting back to your reading and um, the process that I went through tonight, I started out with a meditation where I access the Akashic Records. Um, the information for me comes to me visually um, in snippets and pieces. I also have thoughts that come into my mind, um, words. I use all of my senses. I'm my strongest clear is my clairvoyance. Um, like I said, I, I've always been able to pick things up in a visionary way um, to see things play out like a movie. And when I started off, um, I saw two little girls. One was brushing the other's hair. Um, I didn't feel that there was anything super, super special about this life. It was very ordinary and very mundane. Just the connection between these two little girls, um, they were either twins, not, not is it fraternal twins were they, or identical twins. They were not identical, but they were either twins or very, very close in age, I, but I feel that they were twins. 
but there were slight differences. One was a bit smaller than the other. Um, they both had beautiful blondish brown hair, light, light brown. And the one little girl was sitting there brushing the other girl's hair in front of a fireplace. Um, I picked up that it was in Sweden. Um, I also smelt bread cooking. Um, th these are the things that, that I picked up on. I, when accessing this, I didn't get much further than those two little girls sitting there caring for each other and just the, the feeling of love and devotion that radiated from one another. It, it was a very strong feeling. I took about 30 minutes or so to do my meditation and then I decided to try something a little different and go into an, a session of automatic writing which I have here for you. You probably it's very scribbly writing for me. When um, one does automatic writing, once you get into it, it doesn't even start to look like your handwriting anymore. And I noticed when I was doing this, and it's very odd, that I was actually writing with my eyes closed because I was getting the visions back at this point. So I'm going to kind of start off by reading what I did write. Hopefully I can read my messy handwriting. And then I'm going to go into explaining a little more of the feelings and things that I picked up on during the session. So this, this is what I've written so far, or what I wrote during the session. Blonde hair, braids, one girl brushing hair, talking, singing, laughing, sisters, young, joy, I'm not sure of this next word. It's, it's very scribbly, but um, thanks. Um, when, when you do do an automatic writing session, a lot, a lot of times, the well, majority of the time, you actually don't even remember what you're writing. And like I said, I was just writing this with my eyes closed, and it's messy and not exactly in the lines. So. At this point, I started getting another vision, and it was of these two little girls running through a field. Chase, flowers, tulips, Sweden, life, good, simple, bakery, house, Danish. These were the things that were coming to me. Two girls, close sisters, die young, drowned. Sheen, river, day, summer, sad, pull out, mom found, conscious, cry, one live, heart bad, wounded, dream, sink, sister one, tree swing, alone, gifted, talk to spirit, stay in touch, often, drifted, long time visit, sad, move on, let go, older sister, life, solitude, grounded, family, shuffle, daughter, reborn, birth, lone, connection, close, no, care, surrender, had, feel, love, Life, easy, brown bread, heaven lost, or heaven and then lost souls, together. Shift, dry, dirty, ground, dust, and rebirth. So what I feel that I picked up on was a life where Justine and Juliet, that you were sisters. I feel that you were either twins are born very, very close together, um, as if your parents didn't wait long to have you not even a full year apart. You were very, very close. The love that you shared for each other, I almost feel that you you raised each other. You, you took care of one another. There, there was a mental connection that you had, 
that was stronger than, than most siblings have. It, almost as if you could communicate um, telepathically with each other. You knew what the other was thinking, what they needed, how to care for them, what to do. This was such a strong bond. And what I picked up on in this, this vision as I was writing um, out was that there was, you were playing, it was a wonderful day, a beautiful day. You were playing near a river and one fell in and the other tried to help, falling in as well. I heard mother scream, she came running. Um, and she was able to pull one out. I believe this was out of the two girls. I, I'm not sure who was who. I feel that actually Juliet was the older sister or the oldest of the two twins. And I feel that she is the one who actually was pulled out at this time. She's very lonely. Um, went into almost a depressive state. The, the feelings and emotions are more of what I got at this point, not a vision. Um, until I, I feel that there was communication still the, through the spirit realm. That it was the younger sister, who would have been Justine, came to visit often in the beginning. And I did get a vision of the swing and Juliet sitting on the swing uh, under a tree talking into the air, talking to her sister. And if, if I'm not looking at the camera, it's because it's playing out in my mind still. Um, After this last visit, the, this visit that was on the swing, what, what I see and what I pick up on is that that was almost like a goodbye. That there was, she was older at this point, I want to say in her teens, um, possibly late teens. Time went. Um, I, I didn't get much of a feeling for the life in between. Um, until later on she was older and there was a quick visit. Um, almost like saying, hey, I, I'm, I'm still here. Don't forget about me. I, I love you still. You're, you, we're, you'll see me again. Um, time went on again I, it, without visits and I feel that she, the, the oldest sister, Juliet married, had a family, and became pregnant. I feel that the child that was she gave birth to was the reincarnation of her sister, of, of Justine. And there was a very strong bond. I feel that um, Juliet felt that connection too. She knew that that was her sister at one time, and life became good again. Um, as I said in the beginning, I didn't feel that there was anything special other than this bond um, during this reading. I did pick up on two names. I picked up on the name of the, the living sister being Helena or Helena. The second sister, which would have been Justine, I'm a little confused about the name. Um, at first, it's, what came to me was Darcy. Starcy. But then it... As I said it more to myself, I was picking up more on Starseed. So I'm not sure if the name was Starcy or it's telling me that, Justine, you are a Starseed. Um, but I can share that that's what I, I picked up on. There is Helena and Starcy or Starseed. I don't see Starseed being a name. Um, as for a time period, I I would say that this had to have been in the 
early 20th century, early 1900s. Um, the home that I picked up on was a cottage style with like a, a thatched, I want to say it's called thatched roof. Um, it was almost cobblestone building or a building built of stone. It wasn't wooden. Um, not not all of it. I, I especially around the fireplace inside that I picked up on because that's where the main scene started started off. The next scene that um, I was given was out in the field of flowers with tulips. Um, this is pretty much all that I got during this session. The whole session took me about an an hour, hour and fifteen minutes to go through, and then it is now. 10:46 p.m. So I, I'm going to go ahead and, and wrap this up so I can get to bed myself tonight. I want to thank you, ladies, so much for giving me the opportunity to do this reading for you. I hope that um, it's what you were expecting and hoping for, and I hope it brings you some insight and guidance. Um, if there's anything else I can do for you, or if you have any questions for for me, please feel free to contact me via my Etsy shop, Gifted Energies. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.